Hey everybody, Sean here from Board Paracord, and today I want to show you one that I have been wanting to do for probably two years now. I mean, I don't know why I haven't done this already. Um, probably because it's a little time consuming, but the results are perfect. I mean, this is one of the cleanest looking bracelets you can ever make. Um, so let's get started. You will need um, a FID. You can also use a pair of needle nose pliers. Um, which I have over here too. These work great, but they're a little more time consuming than if you have the FID. The FID will definitely be your number one tool. So I've already attached the FID to one end. We're just going to set this aside for now. And I've taken this end and I've melted the end and I've made it into a point. And let's see if we can get this to show. There we go can't really tell that it's that great of a point but it is into a point and that's so I can attach the fit in just a minute um, and to get it through the buckle a little easier so the first thing you want to do is oh shoot let's see which way do I need to take this cord through I think it's from the back side so we're going to take our cord and we're, ma we're making three loops here so and you want to pull out probably a good six inches through the cord or through the buckle just like that and then you're just gonna make three loops here so this is one you might need a little more cord than that so maybe about eight inches um, and I have about 20 feet here I just don't I don't want to run out of paracord so I'm going a little heavy on that um, so just keep on making your loops from the back side so there's two and I'm using a half inch buckle so there's not a lot of room so I'm just gonna make three loops and this is gonna make kind of a th not real wide bracelet but just a little wider than this buckle and this third one is always a little bit of a pain to get through here because there's not a lot of room so you want to push all the cord down to the end of the buckle and then that little bit of gap that you have left is is going to be for the the paracord to slide through there and that's why you want to have it to a point and you're going to pull that through try to get rid of the twist there we go all right, now I'm going to take my fit off. Probably shouldn't, I didn't need it on there right away. And we're just going to basically open these up all to the same. And I'm going to pull my two ends. So I have my long end here and I have my short end. And I just want to kind of make all these loops the same size. So you want to kind of pull a little hard. And I want to take the short end and I want to go down through these loops so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fit out go the other way and then attach my cord to it and you can do this like I said with the needle nose you just go in this way grab hold of your cord pull it through that works just as well just a little longer um, longer time to, that it takes and I'm just going to pull this through and we're going to leave this just like it is until the very end. And we'll just get it out of the way. Okay. Now, once you have your, your buckle set up just like this, and you've got your three loops, you kind of zoom in just a little bit, you're going to have your three loops and the small end coming out of here. Now, I always tuck it under the buckle just so it's out of the way while I'm doing these first few weaves. Once you get, you know... I don't know, an inch or two off of the buckle, then you can come back and cut the end and, and singe it. That way it's not in the way. All right, so let's attach the paracord. This is the long end. This is the one we're gonna weave with. So there's a couple rules when we're doing this and I tried to think of the easiest way to do these so that you don't get confused because this can be kind of confusing at the beginning. So we, we're gonna build our weave this way so that means we have to put our fid through this way. So we go, come to our first loop. And we're just going to go through this first loop just like that. Pull your fid through halfway. Now you've got the, the rest of the cord is here. The working end is here. So what you want to do is take your fid or take your cord. We'll get this guy out of the way because that one doesn't really matter right now. Actually, it's going to have to go on top so that we don't get it caught inside of that cord. So we'll go like that. Now take your working end, and before you pull your fid through, pull it over top of the, the fid like that. So once you pull it over top of the fid, you know that you 
you're set on this loop. And we're just going to pull all this cord through. I'm going to drop some of this down to the floor so that makes it a little less tangled. There we go. And I have a lot of cord here. Um, I'm just making sure that it's going to fit me when it's done because this one is so nice. I'm actually going to wear this one, which I don't wear all of my bracelets because I make them a little shorter just to make the, the video a little shorter. Okay, so now that we got this first loop, you're going to want to tighten this up. And I like the weave a little bit tighter, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten this. And I'm just pulling on this one, and I'm kind of rotating this through to where I pull it. All right, let me grab my fit. I dropped it on the floor. You always try to try to hold on to the fit. It makes it a lot easier so you don't have to, you know, run all the cord through your finger again. All right, so we move on to the next loop, which is our second one. And see, we're building our weave this way. So we're building it up. So you want to take your, your fit down through the opposite way you're going. Okay, take your fit halfway through. Take the working end, cross over the fit, and pull it through. And like I said, that just makes sure that we're weaving it the right way. That's the little rule that I came up with. Um, if you watch some other videos, I had to watch three or four to make sure I was doing this right. Um, you're, they talk about going above and below, but if you just do what I just showed you, then you will be all good. Now this, this cord here, you can see it kind of wants to go over top of this last one. Just make sure you tuck it in there. Look at how the paracord is because you can see if it's twisted or not. And this one is kind of twisted, so I'm just going to go in there and twist, you know, this here and go ahead and tighten this. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling here and I'm kind of rotating my thumb upwards to tighten that. So that one looks good. Now we go to our third hole, or our third loop. And I tie mine pretty tight, so you, I'm, you're going to see me kind of kind of struggling to get it through there. Whoops, and see, I, I didn't do my, my step here. So we're going to bring the cord over the fid. If I wasn't paying attention, I would have messed that up and went to the next one. That's okay. If you, if you mess up, don't worry about it. You can undo it. Go back. And we got a little bit of a twist going here, so you just want to get that twist out before you really pull it tight. There we go. All right, so we did our three passes. Now, let me explain a little bit about this. If you start with three loops at the bottom, you're kind of setting how wide you want your bracelet. So if you have a wider buckle, you could do six loops at the very beginning. You're just going to have to do six passes each each time back and forth six times each so this is the loops at the beginning is what determines how wide your bracelet's going to be so we we created our three loops going that way by putting our fit in this way now we need to create three loops going that way so we're going to put our fit in through those three loops this way and now we want to put our, our fit halfway through grab this long paracord and we're going to go under our fid and pull everything through. And we'll just get the twists out of there as we go. Very important to get those twists out of there. And we got a pretty good one going here. Let's see if we can get all that out of there. I think that'll do. So there's our first one. And it's going to look kind of funny to you. It, it, it's going to look like it doesn't match everything else, but it does. You'll see. So we're going to go up through our second second loop. Don't forget, you're going to bring your cord around behind the fid and then pull it through. I know, I'm, I'm sorry, this cord is real long. And that's probably taking up most of my video time, so I apologize for that. Get these twists out as we go. And there we go. There's our second loop. Just like that. And our third loop is this one. So we'll go from the bottom. 
pull our cord around. And twists, 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 twists. Get those out of there. I got a lot of twists going on. So I'm going to actually, before I go to this next part, I got a lot of twisting going on. All right. I'm actually going to take my cord and run it through my fingers real quick off camera to get this big twist out that I have going on. Sorry about that. And we'll go to the next one here. Okay, so we have our three loops going that way. Now we're going to make our three loops going back that way. So just like before, we're going down through the first loop. Get this guy out of the way. Make sure you take your cord over and pull through. There, that's a lot better. A lot less twist now. And you want to do the same thing that you did before. Just kind of push everything through while you're pulling it. Go to your second loop. Down through. Take your cord over top. Pull everything through. If your cord gets real twisted like mine was, just run it through your fingers one time. Let all the cord go down on the floor and run it through your fingers. That'll take care of that real quick. There we go. Get that tight. And down through the third loop. You want to make all your loops the same tight tightness. Is that a word? Tightness? And uh, that's just so that the whole bracelet looks nice and uniform. And after this pass, I'm going to do one more pass. I'm going to singe the end so I can get that out of the way. And then I'll be back after this next pass to show you how to finish up your bracelet. Now you can kind of see the, the pattern coming along. Um, it's kind of hard to see it at first, but once you get all your, you know, all the cord nice and evenly tightened, then it'll start looking pretty good. Alright, so we're starting at the top again. Bring your cord around the fid, pull it through. You can make a really nice bracelet. I didn't have any 95 cord just laying around here. Um, if you have a nine, some 95 cord, you can make a really nice flat bracelet out of 95 cord, and they look really good. All right, uh, where are we at here? How did that happen? Oh, here we go. It's got to go that way, like that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I had a customer come into the store wearing a 95 um, a, a conquistador made with a 95 cord, and it looked really good. I actually gave them some cord so they could make me one. Um, and they never came back. <laughs> oh well. You live and you learn, I guess. See what I did there? I almost went the wrong way. Pull that over. Maybe they'll be back. It's been over a year though, so I don't know if they're coming back. Uh oh, got hooked on my camera equipment. There we go. You know what else is funny? I gave this one guy about 300 feet of paracord to make me a bull whip. And I told him that he could take, when he brings me the whip, he could have a, a spool of paracord. Plus I'd give him some money. And he never came back either. So I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna stop here. Everything's looking pretty good. This will start looking really good once I get further down. Um, I'm actually gonna cut this cord right here. and melt the end just because it's kind of in the way there we go and I wish I had my smoothing tool because it works much better than this lighter but that turned out pretty good okay so I am going to 
finish up this bracelet. It's going to end up being pretty long. It's going around my wrist. So let me finish this up and I will be back to show you how to end it. Okay, so I am down to pretty close to the end of this. So what I now I need to do is just attach this to the buckle. And it's real simple to do. What I do need to do though, however, is take this off of the fid. That way I can get it up through the buckle. And I'm also going to heat this up just a little and flatten it out with my needle nose pliers like that. And that'll make it easier to go up through the buckle. So the first thing you want to do is start with the buckle side. So you can see I've done my three loops going this way, so I want to do three more going that way. The first thing that you have to do is go through the buckle first. So we're going to go bring all the cord through the buckle, just like that. And you're going to pull it right up to the buckle. Now the next thing we're going to do is the same thing we've been doing. We're going to go through and do all of our loops. But I don't have a fid this time, and I'm actually going to do it with the pliers. We go through the opposite way. I'm just going to let that sit there for a second while I grab the end. I'm going to open up my pliers and pull this through. So you want to make sure you do the buckle first. I'm actually going to cut some of this off. I think we're going to go about a foot out. So i got about, I don't know, three or four feet left. We're just going to make this into a flat end real quick. Here we go. Just like, oh, that's a little bit big. I'm going to cut these little edges off of here. There we go. Makes it a little easier to work with. Okay. So we went through the buckle one time and through the loop one time. So now we're just going to do the same thing again. Come up through the buckle. And you want to make it, you want to pull it tight. And then we're going to go the opposite way through the bracelet portion and pull it through this way. You could do this with a fid too. You would just have to take the fid off every time you go up through the buckle. Not a big deal at all though. And I also want to leave this just a little loose because at the end we're going to stick the fid through these three loops to kind of lock everything in place. And we're going to go up through the buckle one more time. And you want to do this from the back side. And the third loop is always the hardest because the buckle is pretty, is, is not very wide, so there's not a lot of room for that cord to come through. But we got it anyway. And we want to go, oh, let's see, we got to go the opposite way. <laughs> I had to think about that one for a second, not sure why. All right, so we'll go the opposite way now. Open that up and pull her on through. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do there. Oh, I did it again. All right, let me uh, let me fix this real quick. What am I looking for? There we go, my scissors. Get that out of there. All right, let's try this one more time. See, everybody makes mistakes. So if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. You can always fix whatever you're doing and come back to it. And this loop is really tight, so... Actually, I'm going to have to break away, and we're going to use a fid on this, because after this one, the next thing we do is run the fid through there. So let me fix let me fix the cord here, because I kind of kind of tore it up, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I've put the fid on. Now we're just going to go through here like we normally would, which brings everything together. And now what I want to do is I've got two loops here. So basically bring this through pretty tight. I want to have that nice and tight now. And we're going to run this underneath these last two 
So normally what we would do is we would work our way this way. Well, we're just going to go under these two loops here, bring it on through all the way, just like that. And everything kind of tightens up when you do that. See how nice that looks? Tighten everything on up. And we're going to finish it right there. Cut that. Use our torch lighter. Now i got to be careful. I know I say it every time. I can't see the flame. So I just do it real lightly. I can see the paracord kind of bubbling. So I, that's what I do. I just let it bubble up a little bit. And then use the back of the lighter. I don't know what I did with my smoothing tool. It's such a... It's much better than this lighter because this lighter has these little cracks in it and the paracord slips down in there and then you have like this kind of hard ridge on there. But yeah, that's the uh, Conquistador. I just said that kind of funny, but yeah, Conquistador. And um, this is a three loop version. You can make this as wide as you want it to. I've seen people use this as a guitar strap. It looks real nice the wider it gets. Um, also, you could use 95 cord. Um, if you want a much thinner bracelet this way, you'll have to do more loops to fill up this buckle. Probably five or six loops, I would say, would fill up the buckle. But you have a much thinner bracelet, which is, you know, I, I kind of prefer the thinner bracelets. But the 95 cord, the, oh, I never said what color this is. This is, um, this is crimson, I believe. Yeah, this is our crimson color. Everything I use in the video will be down in the description. So if you have any questions, just put them in the the, the, <laughs> the comments down below. And uh, don't forget to check out the Facebook group where you can post your video or yeah, post your videos, your pictures, your projects, every anything paracord in there. And uh, I hang out in there. It's facebook.com slash groups slash paracord on. And until next time, I hope you like this one. Paracord on.